I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. The strip mall off Pike Street in downtown Port Jervis won't be reopening anytime soon, and that's not sitting well with Port residents who patronize the existing stores. Port Jervis city leaders took action to condemn the mall building following word of severe water damage from last Wednesday's heavy rainstorm. That, plus numerous code violations, led to the decision to shut the building down. But the closing of businesses like Dollar General, Rite Aid, Brother Bruno Pizza and a laundromat had local residents like Robin and Howard Decker upset. I do all my shopping here. I go to Dollar General all the time. I'm always in Rite Aid getting my medicine and odds and ends things that I need. And it's things that I can't go there no more. I have to go out of town to go shopping now. What they got to do with this place, you know, I hope they fix it. and get everybody back to job, you know, there's a lot of people out of work now, here, and stuff, and it's just, it's a shame. There had been word that Rite Aid was planning to locate a trailer in the mall parking lot to accommodate those in need of prescriptions. Port resident Michael Latini pulled up this morning in hopes of getting a prescription filled for his 88-year-old mother. This place has been closed for the last several days and I don't see any pre provisions being made uh, so that the elderly people in town here can get the prescriptions filled. At least someone should be here to provide the prescriptions so we could go to another pharmacist with it. The, these people need their medications and I don't see Rite Aid doing anything to uh, accommodate this problem. The strip mall is expected to stay closed until the owner, KT Associates, provides an engineering report and plans to make the repairs needed to alleviate what's been called a dangerous situation. Monticello police are uh, hoping someone will come forward with information that will help them uh, locate the man who attacked a village resident last night. Police say 23-year-old Devon Brown was repeatedly stabbed in the back, shoulders, face, and arms during a fight with a group of men. Uh, Brown was also shot at as he ran from his attackers. Uh, when Officer David Lindsay arrived on the scene, he used a special clotting sponge called Quick Clot to control the bleeding. Brown was later rushed to Catskill Regional Medical Center where he was listed in critical condition. Anyone with information on the assault is urged to call Monticello Police at 794-4422. And police officials in Monticello were among those who liked it. The Federal Secure Communities Program called on local police departments to send fingerprint information to the Department of Homeland Security to determine if a local crime suspect is in the country illegally. But Governor Andrew Cuomo has uh, suspended the state's participation, saying it's been ineffective. Other opponents said it encouraged racial profiling and uh, scares immigrants into not cooperating with police. But supporters of the program are ha happy with the governor's action. Orange County District Attorney Frank Phillips calls it a valuable tool because, in his words, the federal government has uh, utterly failed in protecting its borders. You're the reason this is happening. Your work and those conversations are why we have marriage equality today. They gathered for a celebration, a victory gay rights advocates had been waiting years for. Gay couples and supporters of same-sex marriage gathered Saturday at Peace Park in New Paltz to celebrate the historic passage of the same-sex marriage bill that was signed into law by the governor late Friday night. Saturday's New Paltz event drew about 175 people and featured Mayor Jason West, who uh, made waves back in 2004 by marrying 24 gay couples. Those unions would uh, not be legally recognized. Same-sex couples at the rally said the state law will make uh, their lives easier and less painful. But not everyone was hailing the legislative approval as good news. The Reverend Bill Benucci of the Marriage and Family Savers Institute of Newburgh said it was disappointing that the Republican Senate gave in to the gay lobby. And summer vacation ended before it began for these young men and women who arrived at West Point early this morning to begin the challenge of becoming members of the class of 2015 class of cadets at the United States Military Academy. Today is our day, short for reception day, when the 1,250 cadet candidates say goodbye to their families and begin to learn what they'll need to know about military life and procedures that uh, must be followed in order to become West Point cadets and future officers in the U.S. military. This is their first transition from a civilian to a soldier or West Point cadet. 
So basically, the first thing that happens is they're transformed, um, and they all get the same uniform. They all put on the same PT shorts and shirt, and they walk around and they get issued all of their basic necessity items that they need. Everything from underwear to toothbrushes. So today is their introduction. They'll learn how to drill so that they can go out into the oath ceremony tonight and perform in front of their parents and take their oath of allegiance um, to the U.S. Constitution, and that, which symbolizes their introduction into the academy as a West Point cadet. This year's class was selected from a pool of about 14,000 applicants. And after our day comes a summer of grueling basic training called Beast Barracks. You guys step up to morning, my line, on, on my line, on my line, on the front of my line. The and the boss will have stories from today's our day experiences, including the story of an incoming cadet from Grahamsville with some big shoes to fill. That's in tomorrow's Times Herald Record. Well, you may need to turn on those fans and air conditioners uh, tomorrow. It'll be partly sunny, but humid. With a chance of a late day shower, the highs will be up around 85 degrees. Wednesday will be mostly sunny and less humid, with the temperatures rising into the low 80s. Stay on top of all that's happening by making frequent visits here at Record Online, and you'll get a complete wrap-up of the day's events when you pick up tomorrow's edition of the Times-Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.